This year's CyberSec Global follows along four parallel streams – business, future, defense and state. And that now we know what's brewing, can we have Barbara Stockfish, CyberSec Program Director. She is here with us locally and she will let us peek behind the curtain and see what CyberSec 2020 Global has in store for us. Dear Barbara, what's in this year's agenda? Dear ladies and gentlemen, a peek behind the curtains of CyberSec Global 2020 reveals that its agenda is an effect of teamwork of the CyberSec program team and CyberSec program committee united against adversarial internet. The conceptualization of the agenda as each year is a very careful process that involves months of research preparation and accurate selection of topics that address the most up-to-date challenges and policy developments. And I must say that this year has been full of such challenges. But together with the 21 program committee members, and I will call the roll in a moment, we have created more than 40 conferences formats. So this year's CyberSec Global is a work of Isabella Albrecht, Joanna Świątkowska, Martin Achimowicz, Bonnie Batlin, Tadeusz Chomicki, Paul Cornish, Sorin Dukaru, Lise Fur, Melissa Hathaway, Sir Julian King, Kiaran Martin, Antonio Misiroli, Robert Mugga, Christopher Painter, Jesh Ripandia, Luigi Rebuffi, Rafał Rochoziński, Jean-Christophe Letoquin and Paul Timmers, and the CyberSec 2019 Young Leaders, Andrea Rodriguez and Omre Weschler. To be honest, when I look at this year's agenda, I think I couldn't have asked for more. We have among us active and former presidents, ministers, European Union commissioners, members of the European Parliament, top-notch experts and executives, business leaders, and even people who have contributed to the creation of the Internet itself. With them, we will certainly keep the dialogue going. I sincerely hope that the agenda will meet your expectation and that you will get inspired by our prominent speakers as to the ways for securing the future of the digital world. And now on a personal note, I must admit that this year's preparations, despite the unprecedented times, were very special. I want to send a thank you to the great big CyberSec family. And, no, and I know that many of you are watching the conference right now. I'm very grateful for your active participation in the road to CyberSec meetings and for your thoughtful insights that have helped us to prepare the very best CyberSec Global 2020 agenda. Last but not least, the new issue of the European Cybersecurity Journal is now released. Make sure that after this binge conferencing experience, you download it from our website and dive into the cyber world even deeper. Ladies and gentlemen, let the first stream of the conference kick off. Thank you.